Hey what's going on guys, it's Dossa TV here bringing you back another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In this video today guys, I'm going to be going over how I improve my aim dramatically and now consider myself a top tier aimer. The tips I will go through in this video is all the methods I use to improve my aiming. In this video I will show you three methods that I use that I learned from pro players to improve my aiming mechanics in Fortnite. The tips will include how I improve my aiming, what playlists and maps I use to improve my aiming and how I will continue to improve my aiming. All the maps and playlists I using this video will be left in the description with the code if you want to try out these islands and maps for yourself. All these scenarios and routines I did take off pro players who have godlike aim. Some of the players include Mongol, 100 Thieves, Arkham and Chat and they use this to improve that aim to get it godlike on the daily. If you guys do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more season 4 Fortnite tips and tricks videos. Without further ado let's get straight into it. I'm quickly going to explain why it's so important to have good aim in Fortnite. You could have the best building and editing mechanics in Fortnite but not be able to hit a shot on a standing target so all your other building and editing skills become irrelevant if you can't shoot straight. So many times I see players focusing on their building and editing speed but neglect their aim mechanics. No matter how good your building and editing mechanics are, players with better aim will normally win the fight. At the end of the day it's your aiming off shotgun shot or your tracking with an AR that kills your opponent so it's super important to have good aim. I'm now going to show you guys two maps in Fortnite you can use to improve your tracking and shotgun aim whilst also in some of these scenarios they will incorporate some building peace control mechanics. First map I use and pro players such as Mongo have been using is Tito's Training Island version 6. The island offers all the guns you will need to practice with. The island aim scenarios offers a box fight practice session with bots. This box fight scenario allows you to control how many bots you would like to fight. This map is great as it allows you not only to practice your shotgun, SMG and AR aim, it also incorporates box fighting mechanics and allows for you to increase the difficulty by adding more bots if you would like to. The map itself is small forcing you to edit and shoot in tight angles not only helping to improve your aim but your movement also. This is a great way to start your aim improving session. This island by Tito also provides many other useful aiming scenarios. The map contains tracking scenarios with zombies and bots mimicking the most important part of your aim in my opinion on Fortnite which is your tracking aim. Tracking is your ability to follow a moving target with your crosshair. You want your tracking to be as smooth as possible with no awkward or jagged movements. Pro players demonstrate this really easily by practicing this scenario before they start their stream. Most of your fights in a fortnight are normally won before you have engaged in a build fight with your opponent. Being able to track an opponent and beam them with your AR before you build battle is super important and normally decides whether you'll win or lose this fight. This map also incorporates tile frenzy and flick shot drills that are perfect for incorporating the fortnight movement mechanics and some OG Kovac drills. The second island that has helped improve my aim dramatically is Shavok Aim Training Map. This first map I normally enter on this island is the Mongol Classic Map. This scenario allows for you to initially practice a triple edit down towards an opponent's wall. Then once here you can practice the Mongol Classic or Cone Slide or any wall replacing edit shot you would like to practice. I really like the diversity of this scenario as it allows for you to practice any shotgun, box fighting edit you are weak at whilst also incorporating your wall replacing mechanic. This section also incorporates a bot that shoots at you adding extra pressure to your shot. A good tip is to when shooting the bots practice your timing of your shot after your edit. This will help you master shooting your shotgun first before an opponent in a game. This section resets itself allowing you to keep practicing your wall replacing and shotgun aim which is what I really like about this section. This island also incorporates a zombie box fight drill which spawns a moving zombie into a one by one box allowing you to practice your boxing up of players, editing and instant resetting of edits while also allowing you to practice your edits on different sides whilst incorporating your shotgun aim. You want to practice editing from different sides so you don't get used to only doing certain edits and editing from one side. This can result in you becoming predictable in game and we don't want this. Additionally this map allows for you to practice your side jumps whilst also trying to time the shot of your shotgun to shoot before you land your side jump. This scenario allows you to get super advanced and perform all sorts of peace control whilst also practicing your aim whilst side 
side jumping, which is an incredibly difficult skill that can win you a lot of fights in a game. Another very useful map on this island is the peak shot section. This map sets up bots to shoot at you whilst you try and hit them via a peak shot setup by the map. This drill helps improve your positioning of these shots whilst also improving your aim and is a really challenging scenario. The bots only go for headshots, so I died multiple times at first trying to perform these drills due to my movement and aim being off. This scenario is great for practicing a range of difficult movement and shotgun shots that can really help improve your shotgun aim and movement. This map also, like the last island, incorporates the OG aiming training scenarios such as tile frenzy and flick shot drills that are perfect if you don't have Kovacs and just want to practice only your aiming mechanics. The final routines I perform are aiming drills on the Kovacs Aim Trainer on Steam. The routine and drills I use in the Kovacs is made by two aimers, Aimer7 and Croda, and in my opinion and pro Fortnite players opinions, it's the best scenarios to play when in Kovacs. If you don't know Aimer7 and Croda, they are the two best aimers in the world and I both recommend these drills I show off. For all the drills I show you, you want to use hipfire Fortnite sensitivity. The first scenario is Tile Frenzy 180 strafing, 300% tracking which stimulates quick SMG tracking whilst also practicing your flicking onto targets which helps improve your shotgun aim. The second scenario is one wall five targets per you, which practices your accuracy of long range shots and clicking on the targets which can really help improve your long range fighting in Fortnite. The third scenario is one wall six targets TE which is similar to the second drill but the targets aren't moving so it practices more your lining of a headshot rather than tracking. The fourth drill is Fugler X and Y short strafes, helping to practice your SMG fast short aim for when you're SMGing an opponent in a one by one bot. The final scenario I practice on Kovacs is air. This scenario provides different tracking drills long and short with vertical and horizontal moving targets, which is great to practice all types of your tracking for Fortnite. Overall, these are the best methods and maps I've found that helped improve my aim mechanics. These aiming tip and tricks I learned and shared should help you dominate the upcoming FNCS tournament and any dream hack events and arena games if you guys did enjoy the video then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll be posting fortnite tips and tricks videos from now on every week so if you want to get better at the game you should think about subscribing that's all from dossa and i hope you have a good one